Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to show you how I bake cakes for group dinners and stuff. So I do a little contributing if I don't have lots of food, you know, to make big dishes or anything like that. I make cakes. Um, so, t so tonight's dinner, Sunday dinner, I am making a chocolate cake with chocolate frosting on a stovetop. The Nomad way. All right, hold on. Well, I'm gonna, I just have to mix the batter right now. So, yeah, you just make any, with my other right here it is. Make any cake you want. Here's my oil and water. I love cakes, so I make them all the time. So uh, last night somebody asked me if what's for dessert, and I said, "Oh, okay, I'll make a chocolate cake tomorrow." So the last time I made a cake, um, I made chocolate or pineapple upside down cake. Okay, hold on while I get this um, mixed up. All right, so I got my batter all mixed up. Now I've just got um, two different size pots. You can use any pot. Um, I found these cake pans, round cake pans, fit good in this one. And then these smaller ones fit in this pot. See the difference? About, so I can make two cakes. Um, out of box mix or you don't need to use this you can just use aluminum foil this is how I started off doing it because I didn't have the high cake pans the foil pans already made up so you can just make a bowl in this pot You want to do it here. You want to do it so it's about an inch off the bottom. Otherwise, you'll burn the cake. So, do it good or do it bad? And then, so I'll show you this doing it in this one. Okay might be lopsided but it turns out good I like it and then spray it and I'm gonna use I'm not gonna use this small one so I'll make a big bigger one and a small one so here, oh. it's too dippy on that one side too low Okay, and then and pour some batter in there. You don't want too much because it will overflow. And then I'm gonna do this one bigger. A lot of times a lot of people don't have desserts out here unless it's store-bought you know so and I like cakes and it's too expensive to buy cakes so that's what I do and then just get your lid put it on there okay I'm gonna lick my fingers I'm gonna lick the bowl in a little bit too. Okay, so that's how I make cakes, and I'll show you. Hold on a second. Okay, so now I'm using my oops, butane stove. Oops, doesn't want to lock down. Hold on a second. 
Okay. So, I'm using my my butane stove because I can tr control the burner, the flame, a lot easier on this. And you just want to put it on low flame. It takes about a half hour, I guess. Is this right there? Yep. It doesn't have to be on there super tight. Whoop de ding. You know, whoop de do with it. Okay. I'm really seeing it because it's kind of small. Okay. So that'll sit for a half hour or so. I'll come back and show you when it's almost done. But yeah, it does it does cook good. Bake good. I've made many of these cakes. Alright, I well, see the camp since some of them left. Um, Randy is gone. Gray is gone. They went up to Colorado and now I pretty sure Randy's on his way home to South Dakota I think I don't know. but this is Gray's thing it's a, a combo it's not a clam but it's just as good so she set that up after Randy left and now okay touch you down I know I'm probably dark in here And, you know, I'm doing a bunch of stuff to get ready to go. I'm going to do a live feed. So this is, I'm going to show this on this video on Monday, tomorrow. So after my live feed. But I'll, I'll be talking about what my plans are tonight on the live feed. I'm, right now I am scrubbing my, my propane stove. I am reorganizing getting things done around here because you know I've been lazy but I did go into Walmart into Flagstaff the other day and I weighed myself Woohoo! I lost some weight unless you know the scale was lying who knows okay so now I'm just gonna wait for this cake to get done I do have a tub of frosting so we'll have frosted cake. We'll have two of them. One for tonight's dinner and one for tomorrow's dinner because there's only five of us. It's Mark, Babs, Joni, Alma, and me. And we're still in the same place, Belmont, Arizona. Um, playing a lot of cards at night. Sitting around because it, it gets warm here during the day. Okay, I think today was it to 90, I think, or over in the sun. But luckily there's a lot of trees, so we take our chairs and we go into the trees. And when the sun moves, the shade moves, we pick up and move our chairs. Okay. Can't really tell. It's not cooking enough yet. Maybe I'll have to turn it up a little bit. It's only been a few minutes. But luck luckily, I haven't really burnt a cake. You know, sometimes the edges get a little dark, but they weren't black. Okay, when this is done, I'll show you. Uh oh, I hear my flame fluttering. Maybe I'll have to move the stove. All right. All right, so it's been about 25, 30 minutes and this cake is done. Okay. Hmm. Well, the middle is just the top layer. It's soft. But it's all done. Yeah, I don't think I have any toothpicks, but I've done this a few times, so I know. It's done. I'll let it cool and then tip it over onto a plate. And then we'll frost it. All 
All right. The first cake is all done. The little one with the foil. And there it is. It doesn't look the best, but it's going to be delicious. And the second one, the bigger one, is still cooking in there. Um, hold on a second. Set this down. Yeah. It's, it's still running. So it's been in there for about 15 minutes. Another 15, 20 minutes left for that. But it's baking. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.